Your boy Troy returns 2.0 Taxa Box Talk. Alright, another edition. Tackle Box Talk. Picking up your boy Troy at the airport again. This time we're gonna have the camera face us so you can see our ugly mugs. That's the difference. Alright, so he went to Alaska again. This time he's coming home a little earlier than expected. But he's probably gonna fry when he gets down here because it's hot compared to up there. He said it was warming up though on his way home. Turn that damn heat off because it's making me sweat. Here we go, leaving the cell phone parking lot to go get your boy Troy. Curbside. See what kind of fun adventures he went on this time when he went to Alaska. He didn't have post that many videos like the first time he went. So who knows? Last time he went, he had some cool videos of him smashing, seeing people smash on the lake, frozen, on quads and stuff. He, the only thing he really posted was a couple moose videos and pictures. Kind of discouraged. I was going to ask him if he saw some moose knuckles when I pick him up. If you know what moose knuckles are, you're probably laughing right now. Yep. It's a Mountain Dew Voltage, though awake. A little healthier than a real energy drink. There we go. Wait for the light to turn green. And on to the spot. There goes the truck locking and loading. Lock us in. Safety first. Always good to have safety first. Let's see. Terminal parking, car rental return. Pretty much follow everybody in front of me so we don't get lost. Last time I had to do a full circle because I went to the wrong spot. And now he's at a dip, the same curb as last time, so I know where to go. It's faster picking him up in this spot than the other one. There's less people leaving. So we're just gonna stay in the this lane. You could probably look at me like I'm crazy, but it's easier picking him up than me. Here we go. Alright, let's see what kind of fun this dude had. Hope everyone had a good Easter yesterday. I sure did. Easter was great. Got to see my kids. It was a blast. Did Easter egg hunt with them. They had fun. Hit some eggs pretty good from them. Dyed some eggs with them. Made a fishing egg too. I'll, I'll send a picture on this podcast as well. Just so you know what it looked like. People thought it was funny. Pretty good laughter. There he is, he's wearing gray. I just gotta wait for Dummies to get out of the way. He's just gonna pull that right her. Right her, my star. What up, brother? What up, brother? Nah, man, it was good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Boy, Not yeah. crazy because of spring? Right. Uh -huh. See, it was mountain hella quick up there. Oh, was it? It's warm, huh? Yeah. How warm was it when you got to the Hey, look. Like, see, it was in the 40s yesterday. Oh, that's wow. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, damn, it was mountain hella, bro. That's cool. It's been in the, it was 60 a couple of days this past week up down there. It's a crazy jump, man. Because when I first got up there, it was like fucking 10, 20 at night. Yeah. 
It's still, it's still been getting kind of chilly at night. 36. So that ain't too bad. Yeah. So you guys had a hell of fun at your mom's? Yeah, that shit was cool. Hell yeah. The little ones got to do their little Easter egg deal. Yeah. What do you guys have for dinner? Just ham. Ham? Yeah, I should have We have ribs. Nice. What kind was it, do you know? Uh, pork. Nice. Yeah, my mom fucking... They barbecued up two of them. One of them was barbecued, and the other one was right here uh, smoked. That's cool. They're both cracking them. My auntie made like a some kind of noodle casserole like thing. Nice. And then we had a salad, and my auntie fucking my auntie made a cheesecake, yo. Mm. It was bomb, man. I love cheesecake, dude. That's my favorite shit. It's just not my favorite. I don't like the crust. Huh? It reminds me of graham crackers almost. Uh, like chopped up graham crackers, you know? Yeah. So you guys heading out fishing tomorrow? Yeah. Sweet. You got the days off? Or no? Yeah. Fucking lucky owl. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. Shit, that's good though, man. Get the boy out there do some fishing. Uh, Those little fuckers turned out alright though? I was like, dang, how you even got food left over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was cool, man. Kicking in with the family and shit, man. My auntie's fucking going through it, bro, because she's going through chemo and shit. It's just like hella emotional and shit, bro. So I spent like the last week with her. How many kids is there? She doesn't have no kids. Oh, okay. She's kind of like my second mom, man. She's been like, she's. She's been in my life fucking my whole life. That's right. <laughs> like, if we moved down to Seattle, she moved down to Seattle. If we moved back to Alaska, she moved back to Alaska. Uh, like, she just followed us around and shit. Right on. That's dope. Yeah, it sucks she's got chemo, but. Yeah. I think, I think they got it hopefully, hopefully close enough, man. She can just beat the shit. It's weird, though, because they're going to do like a fucking, a year of treatment and then they're gonna chop her breasts off. It's like why why don't they just chop your breasts off and then do like some treatment? Why fucking torture you for a whole year? Yeah, it's a long ass time for me to torture. Yeah. She gotta do it every three weeks, bro. Damn. Then they hook her up to this fucking thing dude that has to shoot her with something because the first time she did it man she almost died bro. Uh, like allergic to medicine or something. Yeah, she had a bad reaction to it. So they had to give her this medicine, dude, that they hook up to her stomach and it slowly releases it into her bones to help her fucking build white blood cells and shit. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. That sucks. <sighs> but she's a trooper, man. They cut her hair last time, I remember when I left, and then so, uh, was it two days ago, after she had her chemo, she fucking, she did another one. She shaved her head even more. Dang. Yeah, because she, she doesn't want to watch it fall out. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, man. Like, she don't want to be in the shower and shit and just start pulling out trying to show her hair. Because she had hella long hair, bro. It was down her ass. Damn. Her hair was hella long. That's sad. Yeah, she was super... Well, the cool thing about it is, too, like, her boyfriend shaved her. Like, he cut his hair. Yeah. Bunch of, uh, bunch of my aunties all cut their hair and shit. That's dope. So that she wasn't by herself, you know? Right. Remember Nate? Uh, Nathan? Yeah. His little uh, brother. Simone, dude? Yeah, his little brother's got cancer. No. Nah. Yeah. Damn, that sucks. I know. I'm fucked up. Yeah, I remember him, though. See, that's what I don't get. Fucking. All these cancers have been around for hundreds of years. But then some new virus pops up and they have a vaccine. Yeah, everybody's for fucking, fucking freaking out. They have a new vaccine for a fucking virus, but they don't for cancer. Exactly. Oh, and, then, and then they come up with it in fucking no time. Yeah, it's a money game. It's all it is. Oh, it has to be, dude. Because you know how much money they get off all that chemo and shit? Hell yeah, they be raping people. Because and then they get hella money for research and shit? Yeah. They don't care for all that. They just don't want to go broke. You're right. <laughs>
Yeah, shit. I mean, the whole time I was up there, I just spent it with the family except for uh, last night. I yeah, already... soon you went and seen Homeboy. Yeah. That's tight. Shit, man. How far is he living away from your mom? Well, he's in Anchorage. Oh, so you had to go deep. Well, my auntie, man, she lives right up the road from where we used to live at. He So, oh. he lives in the old uh, trailer court that my grandpa used to own. Oh, wow. And then my auntie's like kitty corner. Okay, so you're right down the street. Yeah. That's dope. Yo, we were riding around last night in this fucking Camaro, dude. That's badass. I know. I'm fucking just smoking hella tough. Oh, shit. It's like, I know. Why'd you call right before you left? What do you mean? Because you called me like right before you dipped on the plane. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to let you know fucking we're on the way. Or I was on the way. Did they find your stash? No, it's still there. They don't fuck with it. Nice. I know. That's what I said. I, that's the first thing I checked when I got my baggage. I was like, oh shit. Cause my um my sister's dad hooked me up with some drove, some some homemade drove that he made. Nice. I was like, cool man, shit, I'll mess with it, man. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Is that bridge new? I never noticed that fucker. No, I've been there for a minute. I've never noticed that bridge. Cause I used to come down here to uh Wendy's and get food uh, when I used to work up here. Yeah. I never noticed that bridge before. Man, that's trippy. I was you drive this road at night? That's probably why. Yeah, that could be it too. Well, it lights up at night. <laughs> Somebody still <laughs> <laughs> he still ain't seen it. Up. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, no, nah, this is right up the road from my old job. Oh okay. I'll show you where I used to work at. Wow. It was cool, man. The other one is right up the road from there on the left, a big ass warehouse too, man. I might go talk to them because it's doing the same shit. Oh. Except for their warehouse is hella bigger. Yeah. So they probably got four or five drivers. Man. Yeah, it's cool, man. Got to hang out with my niece, my nephew, and shit. Nice. That's dope. My little nephew's a fucking bundle of joy, man. Oh, yeah. See, he just be smiling and cheesing all the time. He's only, what, a couple months old, right? Yeah, he's like seven months. Nice. My little niece's birthday, hers is on the 15th. My sister's is on the 24th. And my mom's is on the 2nd. Damn, we're not like, close together. I know, that's what I said. I was like, damn, man, y'all that's gonna wild. break me, man. Shit. <laughs> fuck. But it's cool, I got I got my niece, though. Um, so I was in there, and I didn't know what the fuck to get her, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at Barbies, and I'm looking at, you know what I'm saying? Because she, she's about to turn 7. So I'm like, man, what, what can I get her that would just be... Cool, you know what I mean? Like, she'd have fun with it. Ooh, they got one there. And then, now I know. What's that? A bread place. Oh. Shit, I used to fucking... Man, I used to work at both these joints. I, I used to work... This is the glass joint I used to work at over here. Oh, okay. Where, where, where that car building is? Yeah, right. It's right. on the it's other side of it. Like when COVID showed up? Yeah. That's fucked up. So, I was working there at the glass joint. <coughs> That's the one I was trying to get fucking random hooked up with. Oh. See all that fucking glass and shit? You gotta move all that shit. It's brutal. Shit's heavy as fuck, dude. I bet. And then my other little job is behind here. You can't see it from the road, but oh. I used to get off at the bus stop right over there at that Jiffy Lube. Yeah. And then fucking cross the street, and there's a little bridge that goes right back to the back. Oh, nice. I found that out on accident. I missed the bus, and I got off over here. Uh-huh. And I just happened to see the bridge, so I was like, you know what, man? I'm gonna this motherfucker. Yeah, I'm just going to go check it out. You know what I mean? I'm already fucking, because yeah. I thought I was going to be late for work anyway. And it turned out to be a shortcut. Because nice. before, I used to have to get off on... It told me to get off on this other one over here. And it's almost like a two-mile walk. Oh, that's dope. So, just coming here, missing that one bus stop, saved me hella time. Damn. That's cool. Bird. Shit, man, my day, man. Because at first, like I said, I was stressing. I was like, shit, man, I missed my bus stop. I'm going to have to backtrack and all this shit. And then, so I started coming early, and I get off over there, and I come over to the Seven Eleven get breakfast and shit. Dude, it's crazy how much has changed up there, man. Oh, Alaska. Yeah. Probably hella. Hella, bro. It's crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I chopped it up with that AIH guy, right? 
I finally yeah. got a hold of him. So I called him on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and left a message. And then I called him Monday, Wednesday. Come Thursday, man, I was starting to get pissed off. So I called up the, um, the shop, and I was like, look, man, I've been trying to get a hold of this guy for almost two weeks now. I've never heard nothing back, you know? Yeah. You think it'd be, I mean, does he have, like, an email or something like that that I can reach out to him that way? They're like, yeah, man. They shot me the email. Fucking shoot it to him. He fucking hits me back up in like 15 minutes, bro. I was nice. like, oh, this motherfucker's just chilling at home, dude. Just answering emails and right. shit. Yeah. Is that my call? No, that's mine. Oh. Uh, yes. That's messed up. <laughs> Called up my job. What a fuck ass. Oh, uh, no. That's crazy. B I O P. Oh, yeah, dude, there's a burger joint over here, man, that's so fucking cracking. Dude, whoa, they painted all this shit. Yeah, that shit looks fresh as fuck. Whoa. It's hella different. Yeah, they just painted that shit, it looks like. That shit's hella bright. Damn. I wonder why they did that, because it looked cool before. I don't remember what it looked like. Was it ghetto looking? No, it looked good. That's why I'm tripping on why they even painted it. Huh. It's all bright as fuck now. Who if you chose black? So what color was the rocks before? I'm pretty sure they were black. Oh. Huh. Different. Hella weird. But yeah, man, so like they got all these crazy ass stories. And, that, and I was chopping it up with a dude, right? And that's what that's what kind of pissed me off, because he was like, yeah, well we had tried we had tried apparel back in the day and it didn't really work out too well for us, so we kind of stayed away from it. And I was like, well, I was just in your Washoe location, and they got these off-brand looking fucking Carhartt jeans with some name I ain't never heard before. And they're selling them jeans in there for a hundred dollars, man. Damn. That's what I said. And they were like some knockoff fucking cars. So I sent him the email, and then he sends me an email back talking about, oh well, we do carry some apparel, you know, it's like heavy equipment, you know, heavy shit. And I was like, well. I got a partner, you know what I'm saying, that has access to all that. Not only that, I mean, if you get a customer that wants, um, you know, a screen printed of their logo or embroidery to, uh, of their logo upon request, I can make that happen for you, as well as shipping, you know what I'm saying, I can ship it directly to you or directly to the customer, either which way, it's not necessarily a big deal. And uh, I asked him, I was like, you know, if, you're, if that's something that you'd be interested in, you know, please let me know, you know? Right. Dude, never hit me back up, bro. So I was just like, man, this guy, man. Damn. This guy is a fucking joke, bro. That sucks. Because they just opened another store, so they got nine stores now. Yeah. I'm like, dude, even if you just pick up some beanies, man. Like, I know y'all motherfuckers sell beanies in there. Say every gas station up there has got beanies in it. Because people be forgetting and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. or they'll go out and all of a sudden it'll get hella cold, dude, and you just hit up a gas station, bro, and what you gonna do, pick up a beanie or anything and let your ears freeze? Right? Damn, that sucks. Hella, bro. Yes. But I hit up, I hit up my tribe and shit, this fucking... I was like, well, you know, it's kind of messed up that, uh, you know, I'm a shareholder, which basically means I'm a part owner in this motherfucker, and I can't even get my gear in here. Y'all have some off brand ass Carhartt fucking no name shit selling for fucking stupid money, bro. Man. I was like, even you, you motherfucking Carhartts are only like 80 bucks, man. You guys are taxing more than Carhartts. And you're a no name. That's crazy. No wonder why y'all fucking apparel didn't do so well before. They got some bomb ass fire up there, though, dude. It's still it's still on the expensive side and shit, cause fucking uh, you know I remember it like it was down here. Yeah. It's just same concept, but they do got some fire, man. I want to pick up an eighth of this shit. I had to go back and get another G just to bring it down. <laughs> For real, dude, this shit is good. It's all stinking up my fucking when I was at my mom's house, man. It stank up my room so much my mom thought I was chiefing in the room. It's like, nah, man, I ain't smoking in the house. Shit.
shit. The only thing I didn't bring down this time was food. Fuck. So I caught up with my auntie, man. Yo, I finally tried that place at Caveman. Oh, yeah? It's pretty good, dude. Is it? I mean, it's a little pricey, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man, but it's oh, good, like dude. Price is a price, man. Like, I got a whole chicken. And they was talking about, like, $25 or something. I mean, it was a decent-sized chicken, but... Damn, I still, like, yeah, the taxing, man. Because, you, you know, like, even really? up in Alaska and... and, and Costco, man, you can get their rotisserie chickens for like five bucks. Yeah. And those rotisserie chickens are cracking. Chickens and cheap. I don't get how they're charging that much for a chicken. Oh, shit, man. That's what I forgot to do, man. My mom's going to hook me up with the Costco card. Because she has one, a business one. Yeah. But they don't use it anymore. So she was like, I'll just transfer it over to you. And then when your shit comes up, just make your payment. I was like, all right, she she didn't send it to you in the mail. Yeah. I, we just, man, we got so caught up with my auntie, man. Sidewalk, dude, and you'll just break through it. Fucking foot full of water. Yeah. Other than that, dude, there wasn't nothing going on, man. Yeah. Everything was already done. Ferrande was already done. Everything was all starting to melt. It's like a kind of like. I mean, the best way I can describe it is like kind of like going to the fair almost. Okay, that's cool. It's like a but carnival. It's, yeah, they, they got rides and then they have snow the sculptures. Yeah. What the fuck? Dude, they're Velaskins, man. They're fucking ballsy. Hell yeah. Gonna ride in the winter? Burr. Seat probably freeze your ass off. Well, I mean, you're going geared down and shit. I know, but still, that's crazy. They got all kinds of cool shit, man. They got ice sculptures, they got snow sculptures, they got running with the reindeer and shit. What? Yeah, they let the reindeer go and you run down fucking Main Street with them. That's tough. They used to have a um, like a little horse and carriage that would go around. Nice. Yeah, for like twenty five bucks, man, he'll take you around. And... That's cool. The ice sculptures and shit's what I like, though. Hell yeah, so that shit's tight. Snow sculptures. So when I came down here, they were just starting them. When I went up there, they were already fucking melting. Ah, oh, so you didn't get like get pictures of them. Or I didn't get nothing, dude. Not I, I mean, I got the beginning, like the beginning pictures when I went up there last time. But they were, you know, all you could do is look at the picture of what they were going to do and see, right. like, little cuts and shit in the blocks. Damn. That's what I see, because they be having some dope ones, man. Them, uh, Anchorage and Fairbanks, they're, like, the biggest ones of ice sculptures uh, for competitions. Nice. Then I did a rod. But they, the Iditarod, so the Iditarod used to start in Anchorage, man, but the fucking, the snow, man, it, it kept going later and later in the year, so it got pushed out to Wasilla, and then it got pushed out to um, uh, Big Lake, or Willow Lake. So the, the race is shorter now? Yeah, it, it doesn't start in Anchorage, because used to, it used to start in Anchorage, they'd do the restart in Wasilla, and then they would just take off. Right. Now it's out in um, either Big Lake or, uh, yeah, most, most of the time Big Lake. And they just take off our Willow Lake. Willow Lake's like the next little lake up. And they take off from the fucking lake into the woods. It's, it's pretty badass to watch them go. That's tough. Jesus. You see that thing? Fuck. It's a big ass fucking. It's not even a forklift. It's, no, like a, fucking, it's a can mover. 
I wouldn't mind driving that thing all day long. That was big. It was huge. How's the little one doing? Good. Yeah? They're both good. My son's not as tall. He'll probably be taller than my dad before his next birthday. Yeah? Yeah, my son's not as tall. Like, damn. Where'd that come from? Right. Does his mom got tall people on his, their side of the family? I don't remember how tall her dad is. I have one uncle that's hella tall. Short is weird. Huh. <laughs> and I went, I wanted to go get my head shaved, right? And I'm walking back and I'm looking down at the ground because the road's all fucking icy as fuck. And there's only like two trails, so you really I mean you really gotta watch it where you're walking, you know what I'm saying? Or you bust your ass. Right. I fucking look up, dude, and I'm staring at this fucking moose sitting right on the side of the ship. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I just hope I didn't scare him, you know what I mean? Cause that's that's when they attack you and shit. If they get startled and shit. Yeah. Is that one with horns? No, no. Oh, they, they're they're still, they're, yeah, they're still big. Whoa, they'll trample your ass. Oh, really? Hell yeah. They'll kick the shit out of you. That's nice. But no, they're still they're still babies. Oh. They're not gonna do hunting clear until like October, November. No, so fucking, I found out for my fucking, the hunter's safety class bullshit. No. Nah. So if you're military, you, d you don't have to do the hands-on part. Nice. But the actual, like, class, like, online, you still gotta take. Oh, my God, sucks. How long is the class? Like, eight fucking hours. Jesus. But they give you 90 days to finish it. They give you 90 days to do eight hours? Yeah. Because it's hella long. Like, I've only been doing probably, like, an hour worth, and I'm only, like, Fucking not even a quarter done yet. Damn. Yeah, it sucks. So is it like a safety course? Yeah, but it's long as fuck. And it's stupid because when you're reading, let's say the thing's like this big on my phone. All right. And I read the two paragraphs. I still gotta wait. Fucking, they set like different times on how long each paragraph is. So it'll be like a minute. And if I so I read it quick, I still gotta wait for that time to run out before I can move. To page. That's oh, why it's yeah. so fucking long. Oh, hell no. Because it gives, like, old people the fucking the time to read it. <laughs> like, that's fucked up. They should let you put your age in there and have the time be shorter. Or either that or have the ability to fucking skip. Right. You done read it. She's Next fun. page. It's hella long. So you're able to hunt in all of Washington? Pretty much. Does it, is it only for this state or do you have to fucking get another one for a different state? Like, if you go over to Montana or whatever. I didn't even have to have one for Montana. No, nah. I just showed them my military ID and they gave me the fucking tear tag. Oh, lucky dog. Yeah, I'm fucking, you know, Washington. They yeah, they fuck tax shit. on everything. So they're gonna, yeah. Class is 25 bucks, I can pay. The classes? Yeah. I already paid it. I didn't check it. So what, what all can you get? Elk, deer, deer. cougar, bear. Damn. What do they have around here? Black bears? It's gotta be black bears. I don't think they have grizzlies down this low. Oh, um, so I think they're black. Black bears good meat. So is deer. Hell yeah. Well, fuck, dude, you got that fucking freezer we can fill up. Shit. I wanna get me a cougar. Cougar? Hell yeah, I don't think I'd eat it. I'd probably just stuff it in this. Fuck yeah. Stuff it up, put it in the house somewhere. Hell yeah. Have dope ass cougars just chilling. I don't know. I'd try it. Yeah, I don't know. Cat. Just sounds weird. Even a cat. No. Yeah. Wild. I don't know. Probably tastes better than the fucking house cat. Oh well, yeah. Because they don't eat meat. Yep. Those cougars. That's all they eat is fucking meat. All right. I don't know, man. Yeah. I think I would try it. Probably. Just in case, like the world goes to shit, and be like, yep. Cougar don't taste bad. <laughs> so that's what she said, man. 
So just because I'm a cougar, you don't mean you don't taste you. <laughs> <laughs> I did have one old ass chick try to hit me up like that though. That's funny. Well, you know, working at the casino, man, you get all them drunk chicks. Fuck, I had this chick last week. She seen my, she looked at my right left arm. She's like, your left arm's nice. I'd like to take it home and cuddle with it. Damn. I'm like, that's kind of (laughs) creepy. You just want my arm, I mean. I might wake up without an arm. (laughs) What are you talking shit? Right? That's kind of creepy. I'd have been a little fucking creeped out by it too. Shit. Kind of with my arm. What the fuck? Shit was funny. Huh? Well, nah, man. That's the only time that they fucking would ever hit on me. And shit was these old cougars, man. Oh, Coming yeah. to the restaurant, drunk as fuck. Talking about what time you get off, daddy. <laughs> like, shit. I'm here all night, all morning. Sorry, guys. They got me. Tackle box talk. Thank you for joining us. Your boy Troy and Homer the Vet out.